Malaki, I mean Malachi, going by the Italian. Malachi with a Malachi again. Last book of the Old Testament. This is after the 70 years of captivity. There are still problems. Nehemiah has dealt with them. Zechariah has dealt with them. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved past tense you. <coughs> Again, forgive me for my voice. It's still. That is the same love that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That's past tense. Sayeth the Lord. That's God speaking. Jesus spoke in John 3, 16. Yet, ye, the Jews, say, now look at this, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Yeah, it was. Saith the Lord, yet I love Jacob. Jeremiah 31, 3. Liberals, turn off your ears for a few seconds. Do a little hoka boca, pokey dancey, Italian kind of Jewy religious thing. Because I'm going to say something you're not going to like. So you go to Malachi, you go to Malachi, we'll do Malachi chapter 1, verse 3. Take a few seconds. I hated Esau. All right, you can come back now. That's God. The God of love. Said, now say it with me. Ready? Come on. We all know what we're going to say. Ready? God hates the sin. Come on. And loveth the. What's verse 3 say? Was Esau a sinner? Oh, you better believe he was. Did he ever repent? No, he did not. So when you say God loveth the sinner and hates the sin, you are in violation of the Bible. Look at that. You need to repent. You need to get right. You need to do 1 John 1 9. You got that on your Facebook pages and you got that in Merle and a bumper sticker and all that. You need to get rid of it. You'll damn someone to hell. Because it sounds cute. And laid his mountains. Esau lived in the mountains. His whole terrain was mountain. Remember that's one of his prides? <clears throat> he never got right. His heritage waste from the dragons. Ooh, dragons. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Of the wilderness. Now, that would be lizards. And maybe, you know, there's, there's some dragons called dragons. Whereas, Edom, Esau, Edom, saith, we are impoverished. We are poverty. We have no funds. We are so poor. But we will return and build the desolate places. Matthew 24, 5. This saith the Lord of hosts. Edom shall build. They shall build. But I will throw down. Sound like the Tower of Babel. And they shall call them. The border of wickedness. How do you like to have your town called that? Yes, I'd like to have a ticket to the border of wickedness, please. Round trip. Yes, can you give us your address? 457 Smith Street, the border of wickedness. The people against whom the Lord has indignation, that's the one he hated, forever. Revelation 14 10 We shall build Revelation 12 And your eyes shall see and ye shall say 
the Lord will be magnified from the border of Israel. Genesis 15, 8. That's second advent, millennium. A son honors his father. Well, honor thy father and mother. Mother and father. Supposed to. Take it for granted. It's the law. And a servant his master. If then I, God, be a father, where is my honor? Oh. Look at that. You know what you're teaching children in America today? You're not teaching them how to honor the parents. You're not teaching them how to honor God. Kids today don't even know who their father is. They don't have that example. So they live with a fatherless, godless life. And it's sorry you have to say something like that. God's saying, where's my honor? Sir, yes, sir. I'll do the chores, sir. God's like, okay, what about me? And if I be a master... Ooh, that's a word that's not liked in America. Where is my fear? There's a race of people who will not love God because of one word. I'm going to leave it like that. How harsh slavery was. God says, all right, for our servant and master, where's my fear? Fear of the Lord is beginning of wisdom. Fear of the Lord is beginning of knowledge. Fear of the Lord will get you to repent. You know why people are not repenting today? No fear. I don't need to be threatened by my employer. I've got the ACLU. I've got the employment. I've got lawyers. I can sue, 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 sue. And ye say, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> saith the Lord of hosts unto you, O priest, and despise my name. Put that on a Roman Catholic, Malachi. Walk up to the priest and say, hey, you're a priest? Yeah, I'm a priest. O priest that despise my name. How do you despise the name of God? You take him father as a title when Jesus said, call no man your father. Put that in their face. And watch their shirt turn around backwards. I had a priest one time in the hospital uh, elevator. It was just me alone. I looked at him and said, I said you're white. And it says XL. He wasn't too appreciated that. And ye say, where have we despised thy name? Ooh. Can you just see them talking pious to God? Where have you despised thy name? Ye have polluted bread upon my altar. Uh oh. Unholy bread. Ooh. Leaven bread. Ooh. Wafer. Ah. And ye say, Wherein have we polluted thee? In that ye say, The table of the Lord is contemptible. But wait a minute. That polluted bread wasn't anything wrong with it, there was no lemon. Leaven. No lemon either. There was nothing wrong with that bread. At all. But what was wrong with it? Eh, this is worthless bread. I gotta do it every single day. Blah, 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 blah. I have to put this in it. I have to put that in it. Blah, 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 blah. God says you're making it right, but guess what? It's polluted. Hey, preachers, how I many you get up Sunday morning? I gotta give a message to the same people. Blah, 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 blah. Can't get enough money. Not enough people. They're, they're ranking on me and my family. They're making fun of me. This family's not coming no more. What well, God says, polluted bread. What's the bread? It's the Word of God. Six and six. Sixty-six books. 
Ezekiel 41, 32, uh, Leviticus 22, 19, 23. That bread, there was nothing wrong with that bread. There's nothing wrong with the word of God. It's your attitude and your conduct is what it made it bad. And if he offered the blind for a sacrifice, is it not evil? Yeah. God don't want lame, dead, diseased animals. <clears throat> if you offer lame and sick, is it not evil? Yes. It was. Look at God. Is God not sarcastic? Offer it now unto the governor. Walk into the ruler and say, here, take this blind cow. Take this sheep that's got maggots on the rear end and sores and flies. Take them. Take this goat that's been bitten by a rattlesnake and about to die. Take it. Will he be pleased with thee? Or accept thy person? Save the Lord of hosts. You have more respect to the president, uh, to the governor of the land than you do to God. You want God to put in the White House a Christian president, but yet you don't want to live like Christ. You'd say that what Christ has offered is polluted. <coughs> With American standard version of the Bible, you want God to bless America. Really? That's a sick, perverted Bible. And now, I pray you, God, beseech God that he will be gracious unto us. You better seek God and grace. He will be gracious unto us. This has been your means. Will he regard your person, save the Lord of hosts? You've gotten what you deserve, Hosea 13, 9, Romans 2, 11. You're not getting blessed. Remember when the prophet said, you put money in your, in your pockets and it's falling out because you got holes? Remember he said to one of the prophets, he says, I blow upon it. You know why? Because the priests have a problem with, with the ministry. It, it's And listen, this is after the captivity. They haven't been at the priest's office too long. And already it's a burden. It's a problem. And the people are bringing lame sacrifices. You see what's going on here? They're not serving God with a whole heart. After 70 years being in Babylon, they're giving God 14th best. Who is there even among you that would shut the doors for naught? <clears throat> Neither do you kinder a fire on my altar for naught. I have no pleasure in you, saith the Lord. I have no pleasure in you, saith the Lord. I have no pleasure in you, saith the Lord of hosts, the God of it all. The entire creation, God, that God says, you know what? I have no pleasure in you. You know why he said he hated Esau? Because Esau didn't do right. They were, they were pride. They were fleshy. They were lusty. Israel, you're supposed to be something different. And you're setting a bad example. Who is there even among you that would shut the doors for none and for nothing? Need you kindle a fire on my altar for nothing? You're doing it for the money. The priests are doing it so they can get their funds, their, their, their food. Neither will I accept an offering at your hand. Jeremiah 6.20, Isaiah 1.11, Psalm 51.17. You notice how I'm giving you references before they fell into Babylon? If they don't get correct... They're going to end up the same place they were before Babylon came. And God sends prophets like, you, we can't do this again. 
You know what happens between Malachi and Matthew? 400 years, I believe it is, of silence. I think it's 400. Been a long time. BC 397, Malachi is written in. And listen, I know Jesus spoke early age. I know Jesus Christ wasn't retarded, okay? But do you realize the first place that Jesus is recorded to speak is 13 years old? You add that to 397 BC, four, 400 years it took God to speak. And what did he say? Why well, you What is that, Luke? Luke chapter 2, 1. What were the words he say? So, verse 49. How is it that ye sought me? Wish not that I must be about my father's business. And where is he speaking this? What's going on in Malachi's time? They're not doing what they're supposed to be. Isn't it funny how Malachi leaves off at the temple? That bread stinks because I don't want to do it. And Jesus is sitting down say, I'm about my father's business. Malachi leaves us off. You're not. A son honors his father. A servant his master. If I be your father, where is my honor? Jesus speaks up. I'm my father's business. Malachi, your people want to do it. I am. How's that? How's that for 400 years of silence? For from the rising of the sun, not Japan, even unto the going down of the same, sunrise, the sunset, <coughs> 6 a.m., 6 p.m., Jewish time. Now watch this. My name shall be great among the Gentiles. When was that? And in every place incense shall be offered unto my name. Prayer. There's no temple today. And a pure offering. The blood of Lord Jesus Christ. For my name, Acts 4.12, there's no other name given by among men whereby you must be saved for my name shall be great among the heathen who don't you think the Jews hated that one saith the Lord of hosts that Malachi didn't say that God said that but ye have profaned it what the name of the Lord that's one of the top ten commandments isn't it how have you done that in saying the table of the Lord is polluted and the fruit thereof, even his meat, is contemptible? <coughs> Worthless. <coughs> you know, that's exactly what the last church age says. It's not about God's name today. It's about the preacher's name. It's about the church's name. Check your websites. Check the emails. Find out whose name is in the www dot and dot email dot com whatever. Find out whose name it is. And again, we're talking about in verse twelve. Oh, the service of the Lord is so hard. It's so ordinary. It's still the same day, everything the same day. We gotta do it every we gotta pass out gospel tracts every day. Why can't we have beer? Why can't we have rock and roll? Why can't we have magic? Why can't we have a, 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 a raffle? Why can't we have bingo? Why can't we have Jizo? Well, what's that? That's that's what the church I play instead of playing bingo, we play Jesus. J forty seven. S twenty two. Jesus! You shout the name of Jesus because you got tic tac toe three and then four in a row. Five. 
Oh, oh, turn the cards over. Now it's B-I-B-L-E. I've been in those searches. Don't tell me. See, reading the Bible, memorizing the scripture, the old Bible stories, they're so worthless. Let's bring in Mr. Pilot, Mr. Pirate, Mr. Fish. Let's bring in all kinds of other things. Let's bring in Vacation Bible School. That'll do it. We'll sing songs that are not found in the hymn book. We'll do stories that are not in the hymn book, in the Bible. The children will love it. Veggie tales. That's because you're a vegetarian Christian. You're dead. Get yourself one of them, uh, 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 pull the plug, I'm dead, vegetarian person. Pull the plug. Go to heaven. Don't fast, go. One guy was, was sitting in the church, and Paul said, I turned him over to Satan. That guy got right. And then the church said, oh, no, no, we don't have anything to do with him. Paul's like, bring him back. That Corinthian church. I'm surprised that Paul, I'm, no, I'm surprised Jesus did not call the last church a Corinthian. That would have fit. The Corinthian church had, you know, we talked about the worldly church and all that, but the Corinthian church did not make the last name for this church age. Latter to seeing of the people, for the people, by the people. Yeah, right. And what's going on here is the Lord's service is so worthless. We're so tired of doing it the old ways. You mean you want me to sit down with my family every night and read the Bible? You want me to read the Bible? The King James does it, a 1611 Bible. I can't stand you. Ye said also. Behold, what weariness is it? It's boring. That's what they're saying. I read the other day, I forget what I was looking at. It said that churches today, you know what people think when they when they go to church today? 96% of people say, you know what they're thinking when, when, when the church service is going on? When am I going home? Why can't we get out of here? This thing is so long. It's so boring. And you know what? A lot of churches are. I can think of one church that I visited often but never a member of. That guy was so boring. It's like, I don't know how the people could follow him. Now today his church is like a, 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 a mausoleum. I like to find caskets. Instead of a, a lobby and food court. It's so weary. You have snuffed at it. Rich people. Ugh, that thing. Those people. Ugh. We're higher than that. And that's exactly, that's exactly what the Sadducees and the Pharisees were in Jesus' time. Ew. You see that? If he knew that woman, where she was, washing his feet, he would have nothing to do with her. You scumbum. what it is their so church is so high and lofty that they wouldn't even dare look at a homeless person never mind tell them about Jesus and give them a gospel track saith the Lord of hosts the God that made it all didn't we see that with Zechariah suddenly it's now all about God it's all about all and you brought that which was torn and the lame and the sick Thus he brought an offering. All right, Lord, I made four hundred dollars this week. Here's my George Washington. Oh, I got all the the, the tickets and the great seats and all that. Now, Lord, here you go. My family's been watching TV, going to movies, and having all kinds of worldly pleasures all week. Here we are, Sunday morning. Come on, Sunday school teacher, in 45 minutes, make my children right, and in an hour, make my family right. Come on. Come on, church. So we can get out of here, and then some churches, not only Sunday night, you believe you start, <coughs> you 
You start Sunday afternoon going back in the world. You bring your deportable, retractable life of misery and of sin from the world. You bring it to God Sunday morning. You don't show up to God any other day. And God says, should I accept this in your hand? Oh, churches, all they do is preach about money. That's okay, go ahead. God says in some offerings, I don't, I'm not going to take it. There are going to be people at either judgment. Well, wait to see how much I gave. God's going to say the book is empty. Wait a minute, Lord. Do you think I was going to count what you gave to me? Let's look at what you gave to others first. Saith the Lord. But, cursed be the deceiver. Watch this. What's a deceiver? Which has in his flock a male, sheep, goat, and voweth. That, 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 that male sheep over there. I'm going to make a vow about that sheep. And sacrifice unto the Lord a corrupted thing. Oh, that male, that sheep. Oh, I'm not giving it to God. I'll give God the, the broken one. That's a deceiver. He said he was going to. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me go to the Bible. <coughs> Mr. Whatever your name. I forget his name. And I. Did you sell the property for so much? Oh, yeah, Lord. Oh, Peter, I sold it for yay so much. Really? You liar. Drop dead. And then his wife comes in. Oh, hi, Peter. How you doing? Did you sell that property? Wait, wait. Did it so much? Oh, yeah. Yep. After now she's wearing a fur coat and everything. You know why they lied? So their church would say, Oh, look how much money they give. Aren't they such a great people? Fall down, drop dead. For I am a great capital K I N G, saith the Lord of hosts. Is that capital L? Capital O, capital R, capital D. Shall I say it again? That's Jehovah. Who's that capital K-I-N-G? That's Jesus Christ. Who's Jesus Christ? He says, I am the great king. Come on, Jehovah Witnesses. You got it wrong again. God says the governor over here, but he says over here, I am the great king. I don't think, let me, hey, this is a poor example. Let me change this example. I, if I do this example, people probably egg me on and go, yay. If I were to visit the Queen of England with my family, if I were to get invited into the royalty of the, of the royalty family, and I think within my family roots, I think some of my family blood's there, but. But let's say if I get fired before Queen Elizabeth thank you, and the whole family, do you really think it, she would be appreciated if I were to hand my wife to hand to her a bouquet of dead roses? Here, Your Highness. She wouldn't. Yet, but here's a guy giving a dead sacrifice to God. The God, the King of all the earth. The queen is just a just a woman, and my name is dreadful. But watch this: among the heathen, the Jews are back to eat. You know, God, you're just a problem. You know what God is today? Not in my. But to the average Christian, he's a problem. He won't let me have fun. We can't worship him like 
We want to worship him. Oh, the family go down there and they preach Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. All we got to sit here is make Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And then when we're home on a Saturday, then they come knocking on our door to tell us about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Boring. I want to go to a church where we can have watermelon feasts and cake parties and fellowship and go Wednesday night movies. The children want to go to a church where the, where the children's group goes roller skating and have a church softball league. And wife can hang out with the gospel to I mean the gospelers, I mean the gospel to I mean the, 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 the nursery and talk about I mean the, the kind of church we want. And we're in the same place where the priests are right now. It is such a burden to serve the Lord and do the same thing that the law prescribed. And Jeremiah said, why don't we search and get back to the old ways? That's the message of Malachi. The burden is the message is the love of God. The sins of the people and the priest. And in this book we're going to see the advent of the Lord Jesus Christ where they rejected him <coughs> and the second advent of the Lord Jesus Christ where they will receive him. Let's do it the way the Bible tells us to do it. That's what God said. <clears throat>